Hey there, e-bike enthusiasts. I'm Henry, and today we're diving into an important decision many of you face when selecting your first e-bike, the voltage. Specifically, we'll explore the differences between a 36-volt and a 48-volt e-bike, voltage basics. Before we jump into the details, let's clarify some terminology. Volt e-bike summary. A 36-volt e-bike offers a moderate boost with longer battery life, making it ideal for local commuting on flat paved areas. However, it lacks the power for serious off-roading. Volt e-bike summary. On the other hand, a 48-volt e-bike provides more power, making it suitable for climbing hills and navigating rough terrain. But its heavier weight means the charge won't last as long. Performance differences. Now let's talk performance. The wattage of an e-bike determines its power and speed. Assessments of different watt e-bikes. Here's a quick breakdown. 150 watts. Provides modest assistance with pedaling and an average speed of about 15-20 miles. This is a good fit for riding around town. Not fast, but it will get you there reliably and your charge will last a little longer due to smaller wattage demands. You can still climb hills, but it takes a little practice. Watts. 500 watts is a little more powerful, achieving speeds of a little over 20 miles per hour and navigating hills much more easily. For heavier riders commuting around town, this may be the better fit. It provides more power and the battery life will be a little less, but not by an enormous amount. Watts. 750 watts brings a lot more fun to the table. You can easily get rolling to over 25-30 mm pH and hills won't be a problem. Your charge won't last as long though, so you need to consider if you really need the speed boost. Watts and watts. 1000 watts is a lot of power, so you get a fast 30 plus mph bike that can do a bit of off-roading, but you'll be recharging it frequently unless you've got a second batter option for your bike. If you're looking for a fun e-bike with less worry about practicality, i.e. you're not using it to get to work, then this can be an excellent fit. Cost considerations. When it comes to cost, 36-volt e-bikes are more budget-friendly. However, if you need versatility, a 48-volt e-bike might be worth the investment, range and battery life. The range and battery life also differ between the two voltages. A 48-volt e-bike offers extended range, especially on flat terrain, but takes longer to charge. Use case scenarios. Consider your use case scenario. If you're mainly commuting locally, a 36-volt e-bike is sufficient. But for longer trips or off-roading, a 48-volt e-bike is more suitable. Compatibility and maintenance. Lastly, think about compatibility and maintenance. A 48-volt e-bike offers more upgrade options but requires regular maintenance due to higher power consumption. Conclusion. In conclusion, the decision between a 36-volt and a 48-volt e-bike boils down to your specific needs. Choose a 36-volt for local commuting and a 48-volt for extended range and versatility. Thanks for tuning in. We hope this video helped you understand the differences between a 36-volt and a 48-volt e-bike. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more e-bike tips and reviews. For more information, visit GoBikeLife.com and follow us on social media. Happy riding!